may have been a little unnerving stumbling upon this scene on the lawn in front of U of L's main library. Letter team. Letter team. All those stretchers really aren't needed. There are no gunshot wounds from a mass shooting, no limbs blown off by a terrorist bomb. This is a training exercise for U of L medical school students in how to deal with a mass casualty situation. This certainly happens more frequently than any of us would care to admit, and the kind of down dirty is that doctors are trained to treat patients. We're not trained as disaster, disaster responders. So for, from a mental standpoint and from a general efficiency standpoint and saving as many lives as possible, it's something that you have to drill on. You can't just assume that you're going to be able to make that decision in the moment. You are minimal, okay. walking wounded. Okay. Teams of so students played injury. fake victims with different levels of injuries so, to simulate yeah. a mass Everybody shooting or a subway bombing. Right that's part of Army Captain Robert Greener's instruction. The priority is is those people uh, that can really be saved initially, and then everybody needs to get moved to medical care as soon as possible. Um, but getting the ones that we have more chance of, of saving is definitely the priority. The mock mass casualty exercise is just one part of a two-year certificate in disaster medicine program that U of L is offering its med students, covering everything from hazardous material leaks to treating disabled hikers in wilderness areas. We are the only program in the country that is doing a certificate series-based disaster training. Um, this is something that medical students from the University of Louisville can go across the country and say, I'm qualified to do this, whatever may come. In other words, these students may wind up as anesthesiologists or obstetricians, but they should be better prepared than other docs to make quick decisions in traumatic, real-life medical emergencies. Uh, today, we basically learned uh, basic triage skills. Um, when we're, um, say, like placed in a disaster, we are able to assess the situation and the form of, I guess, an effective treatment plan to, um, I guess, help and treat as many people as possible in a short amount of time and essentially just save lives, as, like, save as many lives as we can. I've always wanted to know like how to do things outside of a hospital, because you always see the TV shows, they're like, oh, I'll use a pen and, you know, puncture your neck open and you can breathe now, and it's like, okay, but could you really do that? And, you know, if the case were to come up, could I do that? Like, how would I do that? So to me, it's important to learn how to do these things without necessarily having everything you'd have in a hospital.